Hey YouTube, in this tutorial on GarageBand for mobile devices, I'm going to be showing you how to use the audio recorder. I'm going to be using the Tascam IXC interface. It's a nice little uh, microphone and guitar interface for your iPad or iPhone. It, it's pretty nice. It has a XLR input as well as quarter inch input. It has phantom power so you can use a condenser mic and it has an input volume control right here. Um, it just hooks into the top uh, where you would put your headphones and it also has an eighth inch output for hooking headphones into and I have that eighth inch output running to an audio interface that's connected to my computer and that's how I'm recording the audio so let's go ahead and get started so let's add a new track and let's add the audio recorder and this interface will pop up and here you can see there's a VU meter, so I'm going to talk into my microphone. Hello, hello, hello. And you can see that VU meter's going up and down as I'm talking. Um, if you want to monitor your input, you're going to tap on this quarter inch plug looking icon in the top left corner here. And you're going to tap on where it says monitor. It says off right here. I'm going to tap and drag that to the right. Hello, hello. Now you can hear me through the microphone that's connected to the Tascam interface. And you can set the level on this bar right here that's underneath where it says automatic. You can drag it to the left or to the right to increase the volume. So I'm going to get a level check. So I'm going to talk really loud and make sure it doesn't peak. So I think right about there should be good. And at the very bottom here you have something that says noise gate. We're going to turn that on. I'm going to show you what this does. This kind of uh, cancels out background noise. So if you bring it to about 75%, you'll notice that it cuts off some of my speaking. Um, this isn't necessarily a good thing. So with this, you got to be kind of careful. I never really bring it up past 50% just to make sure it doesn't cut off anything I don't want it to cut off. So I'm going to put it at about, let's do like Right about there should be good. And all right, so the levels seem good. So I'm going to tap back off of this. And I have a different track here than what I've been using as the tutorial track that I want to add vocals to. So I'm going to hit record and record vocals over it. So let's get started on this. <laughs> And I'm going to go back to the arrangement view and let's cut off the beginning here where there wasn't any vocals. So I'm going to drag my selector right here and put it at the beginning of bar 17. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to tap on the track here, tap again, tap on split and drag these scissors down, tap on the beginning here and tap on delete. And that's going to get rid of that intro there. And I'm going to do the same for the end. And let's delete that. Okay. So let's go back and hear how this sounds. Every day is a new day. So you can you have a couple of different uh, things you can change here, add effects. So you can have a small room effect here. It's a large room. Every day is a new Some dreamy vocals. Telephone, bullhorn. I'm gonna bring it back so you can hear some of these other effects. Every 
A little, little ridiculous. Alright. I'm gonna just leave it on uh, dry, probably. And you can add uh, some reverb by tapping on these uh, this level button, slider volume button, and where it says reverb, you can drag that to the right along with echo. So right about there should probably be good. Let's hear how that sounds. Add a little bit more reverb. Turn the volume down just a tad. Every day. Right about there, I think sounds good. So I'm going to stop this, and that's going to conclude this tutorial on how to use the audio recorder. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the guitar amp. Stay tuned for that.